it's interesting, like inventing a character, when you use the term inventing, I think about what happens before you, you get on set. But there's certainly an alchemy that goes on with, with the environment that the character's in, uh, with the people they're interacting with. But then in trying to get a performance is a whole other thing. A camera is a powerful object in a space, um, as it is now. Like there's a camera right in front of me and I have to talk to the camera. And it's a little bit distancing. Like I can feel like it's a little, like I see HAL 9000. I see a lens with like lots of little pieces of glass. I have to really push to connect because the people that are interviewing me are on the other side of the camera. When I showed up on set on the first day of 500 Days of Summer, I would just try to like get a result rather than invoke a feeling. And I remember Zoe really challenged me on that. And it was, I think it made me a, a better director. I had to think, I had to get inside the head of the actor and like give them uh, values uh, to think about or to feel before the, before the scene even began. With Tom Hansen, who is the protagonist in, in uh, 500 Days of Summer, both the writers, Michael and Scott, and I had all uh, experienced a kind of a guy that had been sort of duped by pop culture in some way into thinking that romance was a destiny for everybody. His worldview was really overly simplistic, and because the whole movie was told from his perspective, that character's attitude, uh, particularly his relationship to pop music and to pop culture, informs not just uh, Joe's performance, but the entire palette of the movie. Where we put the camera, when we use certain kinds of music, um, all of that came by trying to connect the audience to that character's point of view. What's consistent about fascinating characters is that they surprise you. And that, if that happens on the page, and it doesn't feel fake or phony or forced, and you're generally surprised, and you're like, oh, oh, of course. You get that feeling like, you, you know, that it's still logical, but uh, surprising. That's a really great, very rare feeling you get.